what's up guys welcome back to fx tech today we have a macbook pro max m3 14 inch 2023 that has a faulty screen actually it's a damaged screen right here we have a new screen with us let's change it using a p5 or pentalo 5 screwdriver remove the eight screws from the bottom case let's use a suction cup to deattach the bottom case Insert the black stick tool on the gap antenna to finish opening the base cover and remove it. Always use your ESD protection. First things first, disconnect the battery flex cable. Using a T3 bill, remove the two screws from the cowling. Then remove the cowling. Disconnect track pack flex cable. Using a T5 bead, remove screws from the BMU unit and disconnect it. Now we can safely move to the screen. Before removing the screen, we need to remove the antenna, clutch covers, and some collins. Using a T3 bead, let's remove six screws from the collins. Then remove the collins. Remove three screws from the antenna, then remove the cowling. Now disconnect all the screen flex cables, lead angle sensor and the antenna. Using a T5 beef, remove the four screws from the clutch covers. Now we're going to remove the antenna, which is this whole unit right here. Using a T5 again, you're gonna remove the screws that holds the antenna. Now we need to remove the nine screws or little screws from the antenna. For that, you need to use a P1. Now to remove the antenna, you can just pull it and just remove also the clutch covers. Now flipping over the laptop, we're gonna remove the screws that hold the hinges but before that we're gonna remove the lead angle sensor here's the lead angle sensor so the reason we are changing this is every time you change the screen you must also replace the lead angle sensor uh, so if you don't do yes the screen will work but there are some functions that will not work like when you you know when you open a, a macbook laptop it will turn on right away so this is this the lead angle sensor basically does that and no you can just uh, put any one it has to be one that is linked uh, by apple with that screen that you are replacing so remember if you change on your screen and you don't change the lead angle sensor that function of uh, wake up when you open the computer won't work on your laptop but the screen will just work normally So we're now using a T9 to remove the screws that hold the hinges. Once all the screws are out, the only thing you gotta do is just wiggle the screen and remove it. Here we got the new screen, let's just install it. When you install the new screw, uh, screen, I'm sorry, make sure that the connectors are not trapped between the screen and the keyboard. Uh, make sure they're always in, inside and on, on this side of the screen. 
because you don't want to damage it and damage the screen also. Go ahead and reinstall the six screw but do not tighten all the way. Before you do that, make sure the screen is flush and is well aligned on the size. Once you confirm that, go ahead and tighten all the screws. Go align the cables. Okay, I had to do it because it was really hard to do with only one hand. But uh, pretty much you wanna uh, uh, put the cable in the same position there was. Uh, the rest of the cable they will always go on the inside. And then you can just install the clutch covers. This one go this way. This way, then we can go ahead and install the antenna. Remember that uh, you gotta install the uh, clutch covers before uh, installing the antenna. If you do the antenna, then you won't be able to install these guys. And then we're just going ahead and install all the screws. Remember the one for the clutch covers and the one for the antennas. And here we have the new lead angle sensor. Let's install it right now. We don't want to forget the nine six small screws that go on the antenna. Now let's install all the connectors. All right, they are all installed. I need to do it with both of my hands. So they are very tricky. You gotta be patient. Also, be careful. Don't force them uh, too much. Just make sure they are first aligned, and then you uh, push down a little bit. You should be able to hear a click. And also the antenna, they are a bit tricky. So just put it in place and use your tool. Press it down, and they should go to place. Now let's install the collins and the screws. Forget the antenna cowlings on the screw. Now let's reinstall the BMU screw. Let's reconnect track back, track back cowlings and screws. And let's go ahead and connect the battery. Let's reinstall the cover. If you see, there are some hooks the back side of the cover those need to hooks on the back side of the laptop just turn it around to make it easier okay it was installed you gotta do the screws oh the screws are already in much better right so this is how you change your screen on your MacBook uh, 2023 Pro Max see you in the next one